There we go. Sorry about that. My son Michael oh, was taking a quick break. <laughs> He's out there someplace. I've got my daughter Alana out there doing the registration. Uh, Michael's doing the video. And um, we're not serving wine this early in the morning. Oh, thank goodness. <laughs> What's the problem here? Normally in the evenings we have wine, and my wife's here serving the wine. But uh, we're going to have to wait till uh, later on in the day before we get to that. Okay? So uh, I want to thank you all for showing up. We've got quite a lineup of a lot of things going on today. So I'm going to give you just a quick rundown. Uh, right now, you know, we went with the introduction of uh, some of our speakers and some of our vendors. Uh, we've got uh, Chris is over here. He's going to be up in just a minute to give us a little motivational talk about what he's up to. Closure. And then we've got uh, Jason Hartman right over here. He's right there. Okay, good, excellent. So he's going to be our next speaker here from uh, 9:30 to 9:15. Um, 10 15. 10 15. 10 15. I can't time travel. Thank you. Yeah. But you know, investing in real estate is pretty darn close. You know, as soon as I said that, I thought I'd better look at this. Now, we do have internet access here. Normally, I think one time we checked into this and Linda said it was about $150 per person or something like that. But if you go to Age Honors on either a pad, uh, laptop, or uh, cell phone, you might be able to get into the networking here at Fest Parker. If you do, then you'll get to our website, Santa Barbaria, and on there, if you go to the 713, 713 13 our meeting for today, the whole schedule is on there. So if you're wondering who's coming up and what's going to happen, it's all there. So you can look at that information anytime you need to. And we are going to video all this like we always do. It's all going to go up on YouTube. So like I say, if you uh, have a problem with the police and you don't want to be seen, you probably want to stay away from the camera. <laughs> Because uh, we will get you before the day is up, one way or another. Um, after uh, that, we're going to take a little networking break. And we do want to have some time for networking because you people do want to get back and talk with the vendors that we've got here. Do we have any vendor tables outside the yes, room? Yes, we do. In, in the, the foyer. In the foyer. Okay. Three there. So we do have some out there. So if you get to the point where you need to take a break or whatever, or at break time, Please get back to the vendors. Uh, we'll have about 15 minutes there. We'll get back at about 11.15 to 12.30 with Andrew Cordell. Cordell, okay. Yes. And then uh, we'll take a lunch break for about an hour. We'll come back about 1.30 to 2.30 with Scott Carson, our note guy. Take another break, network in. Then I'll uh, do a little something for about a half hour, give you my you know, spiel of what I do. And uh, then we've got uh, Bill Twyfer from 3.30 to 4. Bill's back here. All right, thank you, Bill. And uh, then at 4 to 4.30, we'll do some more announcements. In fact, we're going to do a few little giveaways. I didn't talk to Linda about this, but what I try to do is encourage all the vendors to give a little something away that people would not have gotten if they didn't come to the meeting. You know, sure, you can go to somebody's website and get something, but if you're here, you're getting networking, you get a chance to ask some questions, you can meet some people, talk to some vendors, but you also want to get something that, you know, you couldn't get if you went someplace else. So we're going to give away a few freebies. I've got some, so you can think about what you might want to give away. You don't have to, but we're going to do that too. At the end, and then after it's all over, then play August. It's going to take us down to the lounge. lounge. <laughs> And we'll have some drinks and some food and, and some more networking and you guys can stay as long as you want. Okay? So we are at uh, 920, already past the time that uh, we should be here. I just want to first thank Linda Pleogas for putting this whole thing on. Thank you. She has done a wonderful job and she usually uh, has these events where there's 200, 300 people in much larger venues, San Jose, wherever. So uh, we're just thrilled to have her here Thank doing you. this and helping promote all this. Thank you very much, Linda. Now we're going to have uh, Chris Kohler from Memphis Invest. And Chris is an active real estate investor, entrepreneur. His family owns several companies, including Memphis Invest, Dallas Invest, Premier Property Management Group. All the companies work together in assisting real estate investors from around the country interested in developing a wealth building portfolio of investment properties in Memphis, Tennessee, and Dallas, Texas. So let's give, uh, let's give uh, Chris a hand here. Sure, I, something. I shouldn't have said it wrong, but... No, that was a mouthful. That was a mouthful. <laughs> Thank you Thank very you. much. 
Well, welcome everybody. I'm not going to take but just a couple of minutes. I'm going to do this. So I'm not walking in front of the camera or in front of the the, uh, the light there. I only I'm here because uh, I happen to be in California. I'm speaking at an event down in Anaheim this weekend, and I saw on Linda's website through the magazine that she had an event here today, um, and I decided that, that that was something that I wanted to come up and participate in. So I asked Linda if I could travel up here today just to just to be a part of it. And she asked me to say a few words, and um, she even told me I could talk about my company, but I'm not going to do that. I appreciate that. What I wanted to do. Uh, from a standpoint as, as far as motivation, because she, I saw that she said I was going to give a motivational speech, and I was like, wow, that's uh, a... <laughs> 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 I better come up with something good uh, early in the morning. What I, what I want to tell you guys is that I met Linda and the, the magazine. Does everybody have a copy of the magazine? Did anybody pick one up on the way in? One of these out front? Yeah. Okay. I met Linda and first found out about this magazine in 2009, so almost four years ago. And... I want to make sure that I, that I express to everyone in the room that the reason that I'm here is that I believe in Linda, and I believe in her magazine, and I believe in the mission that she takes on to help real estate investors. How many of you in the room here today are an active real estate investor? You're doing deals on an active basis. Uh, anybody, well, I should have asked it the other way. Anybody here new? Not done any deals yet? Perfect, perfect. There is not a better place for you to be this morning than right here, surrounded by the people in the room, not just the, the, the vendors, not just those of us that are going to speak, but the people in the room around you. And that's one of the things that Linda has always facilitated and tried to help is get people to speak with one another. Get people to talk about who's doing deals, who's trying to get started, who needs help, who needs a, a, a vendor or a, uh, an assistant or just a helping hand in getting started. And so I'm a huge believer in her magazine. And I'm a huge believer in her. So. You asked me to give a motivational talk. <laughs> uh, you know, I, I do that for little kids on little teams that I coach, but I don't, you know, I have difficulty sometimes doing that for adults. But I want to make sure that I told you that this is, for me, it's a real honor to be able to be here. Um, that's why I didn't want to come up here and, and toot my horn or my company or anything like that. That's, um, I'm, a, I'm a firm believer that if you, if you follow Linda, you'll hear about me eventually. And if, if, if me and, and my father and brother and father, company is providing something that you're in need of, then we will meet and we'll talk and, and, and it'll make sense. I wrote an article uh, in this month's magazine about out-of-area investors. And you guys as as investors here in California, you get you get hit a lot. You get, um, I guess hit is probably the wrong word. You just, you're inundated with companies um, like me 1,600 miles away coming out to talk about real estate. But your options are let's just say limited. You have more options than we do on the other side of the country, but they're also varied. It's very difficult to do what I do. I buy single family homes, 1,500 square foot, uh, and I'm able to help investors get into those for under 100,000. And in markets like Dallas, I'm able to help investors get into properties a little bit bigger for under 120,000. And these are properties that investors from all over the country are using to build a, a portfolio. And a portfolio that is designed, the, the idea behind that is to provide positive cash flow uh, on a monthly basis. And it's not so much for today, and that's the article that I wrote about. It's not about positive cash flow for now, it's about setting ourselves up for some plan in the future. Whether it is a retirement, whether it is a college education, whether it's, as I often tell people when I built my portfolio or started, the first house I bought wasn't uh, 1832 Rainbow. That's, I mean, that was the address. But for me, my first house I bought was my infant son. It was his college education. He was just under two years old. I bought the house, and the day I bought it, I put it on a 15-year note and said, I'm going to allow a renter to pay this off for me. I will make a positive cash flow along the way. Sometimes it'll be a break even. Some years I may end up putting more money into it than I take out of it. But in the end, I still have a renter paying off that debt for me. And at 15 years from now, for my first son is 18, He'll have a house, if nothing else changes, it's worth roughly $100, $110,000. It's providing a rent of $1,200 a month, if nothing changes. And I have a home there that I can say, does he want to go to a really expensive school? I'm in trouble. But if he wants to go to a nice state school, uh, I can pay for him to, to graduate and then go on to grad school as well. He's taken care of. I've got that home there for him. When he decides to get married, 
uh, what better gift could I give my child and his wife than to say, here is a free and clear home that I've had all these benefits of it through the years, and now it's yours. Be smart with it. Do good. You know, there's, there's a $100,000 asset providing you a little over $12,000 a year in income. Be wise with it. Hopefully, I'll talk about two more things along the way. So that's the power of real estate investing. You guys that are here, you're already doing deals. A few aren't. You're looking at how am I going to get started? Am I going to, you know, what's my passion? Do I like swinging hammers? Do I like finding the deals and fixing it up and doing all the decorating? Perfect. This is a great venue to, to learn about that. If it's more along the lines of, I don't really want to do anything. I just want to invest as a way to diversify and make money for the future, perfect. You have the opportunity through that magazine and through the people that are in the room here today to find out how you can do that. So as uh, as the as we started the meeting off, a lot more people said they were going to be here, especially early, than are here right now. So thank you very much for being here. I congratulate you for getting up and getting in here on such a, regardless of the overcast, I hear it's going to be a beautiful day today. <laughs> <laughs> All right. I'm not, I mean, I loved it. I was like, <laughs> driving. I, I drove up the PCA this morning. I was like, this is one of the most beautiful things I've ever seen. Um, so I'm telling you, thank you so much for taking this Saturday because it means a lot. There's going to be a lot of days like this that you can enjoy. But there's not very many days like this where you can get together and network and learn from people that let us put together. So um, hopefully, I, hopefully I did that right. Somebody, are y'all ready? Are y'all ready to go? Yes. 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 <laughs> thank, you, thank you very much. Thank you so much. Thank you. Excellent job. Thanks, Dave. <laughs> yeah, um, you know, that's one of the things that we have is a nice area. I'll tell you, we've had a number of speakers that went, you know, we don't come and talk to that small group. It's not happening. And I tell them, hey, this is not Barstow. It's not Lodi. When you're coming to Santa Barbara, this is a vacation for you. Take a little extra time before and after. And we've had people show up that just normally wouldn't. They go, oh, yeah, I think I would like to go there. That's the other reason of getting out of the pizza place and coming here to Fest Park. <coughs> that we have something that will actually give the speakers an opportunity to say, yeah, I think I'll hang out there for a while. It looks like a good place to be. So thank you, Chris. Absolutely.